What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I want to do another video in the Willet Solar series. Uh, you guys have enjoyed that series a lot thus far, so, and I've gotten a request to, for a special episode today using a hobby DC motor. As we can see here, I've just got a little toy sized motor. This is just a cheap little $4 motor that you can get on eBay, Amazon, wherever if you're in the States, but uh, very cheaply made, just used, uh, these can be used to make some sort of a do-it-yourself little toy car, or something like that. So um, in this case, we're gonna run this directly off of the solar. We got uh, direct sunlight today. Uh, it's about a little afternoon. So um, let's go ahead and test this out, see what happens. We've got our, our positive lead already connected. So let's zoom in here and find out what happens when we connect the negative lead here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely spinning. Probably won't be able to see it very well on camera. But the, now it's not running, now it is. If you can hear that whining sound. Let me get the mic down there a little bit closer. Okay, so I didn't run that very long, but that's on purpose because once again, we're running this motor at 19 volts is what the, this panel is producing open circuit right now. Um, so th this thing is designed to run at 12 volts. So if we run it very long at 19, it's going to burn the motor up. So let's, let's see what, uh, what it does when we connect it to our little test rig so that we get a nice even 12 to 12 and a half volts. Okay, so we got everything connected. Um, we've got the solar panel wiring coming in over there. If you haven't watched the video where I've explained this little test rig, probably want to go watch that now. I'll put a link to that. But uh, basically, the solar power comes into this device. There's a charge controller on the bottom there. There's a battery. There's a separate battery bank for this gauge and so forth. So. And then we've got our output, our load wires coming over here and connected to <clears throat> some test leads where we can, once again, we can run the motor. And I will put the, uh, the microphone up so you can kind of hear the difference. But um, as you can see on the, the gauge there, or maybe you can't see because it's, the, it's 60 hertz just like the video is, but it doesn't even pull a tenth of an amp, um, which is expected. <clears throat> but um, anyway, let me uh, put the microphone up here so you can hear this. So in summary, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear the uh, the difference in the the RPM, but the, the motor will not have to work quite as hard since we're pro providing it with more closer to its, its rated voltage. Um, that's what you're going to want to do. Now, if you, in this particular case, this subscriber asked me because he wants to directly um, power a, a small motor in a boat. <clears throat> and um, so you're not going to have a place to mount a charge controller in that situation, or, or you shouldn't. But you, what you could do is you could mount a small voltage regulator that can convert the you know 18 19 20 volts uh, that you're going to get from your solar panel down to the 12 to 13 volts that will keep your motor healthy anyway thanks for watching guys until next time